tired. I barely the vim to tie my boots. Ingredients are. Plentiful hereabouts. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Everyone all right. More marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth here. The creature's corpse will serve us well. Strike true, lest the beast flee. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. Try not to get hit. Let's do that with me. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. Early Griffin gets the worm, as they say. Am I the first to notice? I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! It might await us on the road ahead. Oh, look, a chest. Well, I shan't get my hopes up. Don't be like that. Seeing what's inside is half the fun. of the century, I dare say. I wonder whether my master from beyond the rift managed to find that. Somehow, I doubt it.
While in another world, I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by here. Perhaps I could show you the way. Did anyone else see that? Ought catches the light. Let us ponder how best to proceed. I'll gather these now. Twould be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. I'll wager I could make that shot. Be sure to aim true. to be water here. I have an ill feeling about this. Fine! The Cyclops! To think we'd encounter one here of all places! The Cyclops? Oh, be on your guard! judged you. I had taken you for another force arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Yet the value you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, take this as a mark of my trust. Give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch, and I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well, I. Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the Oxcart. Tis your decision.
riding in an ox cart would be a welcome reprieve. One hopes these ca Ah, here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? Very well. Board the ox cart and we'll be off. That ladder looks promising, but we'll have to drop it down from above. so bold as to speak my mind? Different masters favor different pawns. One whom I served preferred to have bistrons for allies. Now there's a thought. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. I say we collect as much as we can carry. Rotten luck! We've need of your aid again, sir. We'll pull through yet. Goblins of French! That's close up. Seems we drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? All right. Into the ox cart, then. I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first. It would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the sovereign, the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days past, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule, 
Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Gisa of everything. During the time of the previous Consul, she acted as a Queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the Consul's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your Majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your Majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the Sovereign in your stead. A mere puppet. However, with your Majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray. Visit me a night in a tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Thank <laughs> you.